Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TechGooch for another video review, and this one is on an audio product. Now, if you are familiar with Sonos, maybe, or uh, Chromecast Audio, you're probably familiar with what's called as uh, whole home audio, uh, where you can wirelessly stream music to several speakers in the home that can be playing something different or can actually be integrated together to play the same thing. Chromecast Audio allows you to do that with stereo systems and speakers, things like that. Uh, but it is linked to the Chromecast setup, or settings, or app, and uh, to that platform. Uh, this is a little guy called AudioCast, which the best way to describe it, <coughs> even in form factor, is very similar to a Chromecast device. However, uh, it does have some uh, differences in that it supports AirPlay, it supports some other things that... that well, Chromecast doesn't, but it does support everything that Chromecast does. So there are some uh, familiar familiarities to this one, to Chromecast Audio. Um, and the app uh, experience is similar to that. I mean, if you know how to use Sonos, you'll kind of know how to use this as well. Uh, because you can do everything through the app, meaning I can tell it to play from various services through the app. And the big benefit to it is that you're not actually using your phone. So if I, for instance, play Pandora, uh, I can tell it to play the station on Pandora out of this speaker here but it won't actually use my phone once I tell it to start playing I can I can turn my phone off I can leave the house and, and, leave, and it's gonna continue playing until I tell it to stop uh, same thing with any all the rooms that you would actually link together so if you had multiples of these you can actually well you can do it in multiple rooms and sync them all together so they're all playing the exact same thing as well so there's a lot of benefits to it uh, to describe it the best way to describe it is, is, is Chromecast Audio. That's if, and it's that's a, a device that's been out for a little while. Now they have an app that goes along with this, and that's how you control it. And it's called the AudioCast app, which is obviously well named. Uh, but I can tell it to say they have a whole bunch of services listed. I'll list it here for you, so you can't since you probably can't see them. iHeartRadio is in there, Pandora, Internet Radio, Spotify, Tidal, uh, QQ Music, which I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, my music, which is whatever's on your device. Now that's going to link to your device, and you'll have to you have your device on in 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 the area. Um, TuneIn's on there, Napster's on there. So there's a lot of uh, capabilities of straightforward ones that'll play directly through the app, so you don't have to go to the that specific app. But if I was to go, if I was to actually open up the Pandora app, I could push audio from my Pandora app to the the speaker. Best thing is actually it is using Wi-Fi, so as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can control it and send music to it. It's not Bluetooth, which also means that quality of audio is actually going to increase. Wi-Fi audio quality is much better than, than uh, Bluetooth audio quality because of the compression. Uh, but I'm going to demonstrate here. So if I go through the app here, I pull down. I am going to select Pandora within the app here. Um, and Pandora is going to come up, and I can play a quick mix. Let's just click on that, and it'll start playing. But just to demonstrate, if I was to actually close the app that's affiliated with it, it's not going to stop playing because it's it's not the uh, or it's not my phone that's actually playing it. It's actually going directly to the actual content on the web. So rather than me uh, ruin myself there, I'm gonna I'll pause it here though. <coughs> but it's uh it works very well. Full setup is through Wi-Fi, so you you go into the app to add a device and then follow it kind of hand, hands uh, you through the setup to connect this to your Wi-Fi in your home. And then you're good to go. And you don't have to worry about this. This you can plug into any stereo system or Bluetooth speaker or any speaker for that matter that can accept a 3.5 millimeter um, connection. Uh, stereo audio, obviously, because of that as well. So for what it is, uh, 39 bucks gets you the audio cast. Uh, but the nice thing is it, it, it is more broad and than I guess the Chromecast really is. Uh, but very, very similar to it. Uh, pretty awesome device. And it works very, very, very well. However... Uh, to commemorate this and because it's the holiday season I have one of these still in a nice sealed package that I'm gonna gift to one of my viewers so uh, thank for you thank you for hanging out to the end of the video if you don't happen to actually get this and win this you can purchase through the link at the top of the description but that said if you'd like to have a hand on winning this it's pretty simple all you have to do is comment on the video and subscribe to the channel real simple um, I would prefer that you'd share the video as well, but there's no way for me to guarantee how you do it. So I would highly appreciate it if you could comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, but subscription and message below is required 
to get entered for this. And here pretty soon, I'm going to say by, well, let's, let's say by mid-December, so December 15th. At that point, I'm actually going to pull a random person out of the hat and, uh, or I guess off the computer, and you're going to get yourself a nice $40 product. So that said, guys, uh, please let everybody know about this, <clears throat> but also make sure you comment below to, to enter the, the contest. Uh, that said, guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. Comment below. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you have tried it and you don't like it, let me know. If you tried it and you love it, great, awesome, also let me know. But so far, I have nothing but great things to say about it. I've been using it for over a month now, so it's pretty cool. Um, it just adds to my Wi-Fi capability in my home. So that said, any other questions, let me know. We'll see you in the next video.